Now, there's a new test that came out about a year, just over a year ago for gliadin. It's called deamidated gliadin. D-E-A-M-I-D-A-T-E-D, deamidated gliadin. Mayo Clinic switched over from gliadin antibody testing to deamidated gliadin antibody last July, and they just don't do the others anymore. Deamidated gliadin antibodies could be employed with advantages in comparison with other blood tests in order to detect celiac patients with milder intestinal damage who are likely to be missed by other celiac-related antibodies. It's a more sensitive marker of partial villus atrophy. The detection of deamidated gliadin antibodies was the most reliable tool in order to identify gluten sensitivity in dermatitis or pediformis patients presenting a wide range of intestinal damage, not just total villus atrophy different degrees of villus atrophy. Deamidated gliadin is more sensitive, but that is the antibody that's looking at the allergy. That's not the antibody looking at the tissue. So it's not an autoimmune antibody, but still it's more sensitive for milder cases 